What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video and joined by me today is one of my good friends in Ash. How's it going bro? YST, it is going great bro. How are you doing man? I'm happy to be here. A long time since you've been on the channel and we actually did a collaboration on your channel, right? Um, with a very similar topic. We did. We did epics on my channel. We're going to do legendaries, which I'm a little bit more excited about on your channel. <laughs> so basically how this is going to work is it's not just going to be like reading out our favorite champions or anything like that. We're going to be going through each of the factions, choosing two legendaries each. But the game that we've set upon ourselves is going to be if somebody chooses one, the other person can't choose them. And we're going to see who can build the best team. If Raid banning our doors with a Genzin, like, yo, you got to pick these champions. Uh, that's kind of what it's based on here. So Ash, you get the first. No, you get the first one here. What would you like? Word, word, word. Okay, I'm gonna go with Marachika. <laughs> Mar Marachika, <laughs> dude. One champion, and I'm already butchering the damn names, dude. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, uh I'm gonna go with Mar. You say it. You say it. I think it's uh, Marishka. Marishka. I'm going to go with Marishka the Unbreakable. First of all, I think she looks fantastic. She's got a really, really absurdly good kit. I like how a random ally can join the attack with her on the A1, uh, which is something that's like super, super cool to add to one of the best heals in the game on the A2 ability. 40% of this champion is max HP. That's even better than Wither the Crown's AoE uh, heal. It's incredible. A protected strengthen and a shield on top of that. And then a cleanse and turn meter fill and resistance improvement on the A3 Nurtured Friendship. And then revives everybody when she dies. But the active effect on the passive is plays a block damage buff on all allies for one turn whenever an ally receives damage, or excuse me, receives a bomb poison or HP burn. That's so handy, man. It will just totally block the damage of those bombs. I think she is an absurdly good champion. Uh, one of the best, or tied with like 20 other champions for the best speed aura in all battles at 24% as well. She's so Great strong, man. Nice. Even like the lore story behind it with like the Ukrainian folklore was actually very interesting as well. So but cool. I, I, so cool. I, I'm so sad. I actually didn't have the time to test her properly on the test server. I wish I did. But did you pull her? I got, so lucky. I got so lucky uh, and I pulled her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry to rub it in. <laughs> All right. So for me, I'm going to go with... Man. Okay, so this is really tough. I'm going to go with... Baron. I'm going to go Baron. Uh, okay. Baron being one of the best nukers in the game, right? Skypiercer, attacking all enemies, will ignore shield and block damage buffs, as well as 50% of the target's defense. And now is an active skill, not a secret skill, meaning that you can rely on this in all of those places in Rage Shadow Legends. But that's kind of the main thing I like to use him for, and it does not require books to be amazing. But also, you've got the Righteous Charge, you've got the non-resistible drop defense on the A2, and also the Trample that can do the surplus damage in, like, crazy waves in the Doom Tower. One of my favorite champions in the game. Uh, do you like this champ? I do, of course, man, of course. He can be your, you know, your everything. Your, your DPS basically everywhere and anywhere in the game, which is great. Arena included. It's rare when you see a champion that's just like god tier. Yeah. A, a nuker in PvE and PvP, you know? Uh, Baron definitely is that. I'm going to go with Septimus. Really? Uh, okay. I see that you don't have poor Septimus, but you know what? I thought about going Taurus so I could have the uh, the pairing of those yeah. champions, which would be amazing. But I think that, and I probably would have gone Baron too. I love Raglan, but for me, just having that enemy max HP ability, the best, the hardest hitting in the game against bosses especially, is going to be amazing for my account. So I'm just going to go with Holy Sword and kick it old school with my man Septimus. No, that's a great choice. I did actually think he was going to go Taurus, but there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I um, thought about it, but you know what? I don't think Taurus's kit is as good as uh, Marichika's. Yeah. Even though he's very, very good. Like, arguably, you know, <laughs> one of the best champions in the game. But anyway, who you got next? All right. So I might be screwing myself a little bit, and it depends what you choose later on. But I'm going to be going okay. with... Um, I'm going to go with Manaya. <laughs> What? <laughs> Dude, I'm totally sniping you with Coronar, man. No, totally I'm, sniping you. I'm just hoping, guys, that once we get to the Skinwalkers, I get first pick. You'll go first? I just, okay. I can't remember. But I swear, if you choose Coronar, I don't know if we can be friends after this. <laughs> well, after what you did to me on my video, bro, oh. I'm just saying. But okay. Guys, go check that one out, because there was a lot of you know what? controversy going on. <laughs> I'm going to ruin I'm gonna ruin everything for your viewers. I'm going to save you the time. You don't even have to watch my video. I don't care, guys. But But you know what? Your boy, YST, your favorite YouTuber, because you're watching his videos, he he snubbed Cornelia. Didn't take her. 
left her for the trash bin in the back of the for, for a good old Ashy to take. Unbelievable. Oh, I outed you, bro. Oh. You just better can't wait till I pick Genzin as well. All right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so you got Manaya. I got I got Marichka in Septimus. You have Manaya in Baron. Yeah, so um, Manaya, okay. Manaya is one of those champions where, of course, it pairs very well with Akarin, and that's what I'm banking on, of course. Um, I would only be booking up these two abilities here because she enables some really cool things with Akarina for me to take down the Doom Tower in my squads and making it very annoying for the PvP scenarios. So if I'm trying to build that um, squad, I'm looking for a Manaya to pair with that. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. High oh. Elves, you're up first, man. All right. High Elves. Oh, I'm very... It's looking bleak on my side here. I'm losing so many. Um, for me, it's going to be Eleonaro, one of my favorite champions in the game. Ooh. I love Poison Explosion. You eh? went for it. I know, I know. Remember how we did okay. with the Poison Explosion in the last team? It's all starting to make sense. <laughs> you know what the thing is? I'm having trouble because we just recorded my video yeah. right before his. I'm having trouble separating the other epics that I have for my my account right now, you know? I'm like, yeah, guys, just to clarify, it actually is going to be like a one beast team from the epics and the legendaries. That's kind of the theme here. Okay. So okay. obviously, non-resistible burn, helping out my Dark Kale over there. Then we got the poisons on the A2. And it all comes down to the combustibility and kaboom, nukes. <laughs> so silence, there please. Go. After that happens. <laughs> all right, you know I'm gonna go with. Uh, as much as I would love to go arbiter, and as much as I think that Bellinor is actually really solid to get decreased defense and weaken on AOE now, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go with Lysandra. Uh, I feel like now with Lysandra, I have a lure from the epics as well. I feel like I have great control now with the exhaustion ability, the increased speed. Energize is just an amazing ability. Speed in all battles. Uh, so I feel really good about having Lysandra on my team. Uh, I could use her in the arena as well. This is starting to get scary because you got a lot of like Termi manipulation. I'm never going to take a turn. <laughs> um, so for me, um, Arbiter, we do get for free. So I'm not going to include that, but I would have said her. I'm probably going to go with Deliana. Um, wow. And of course, we've got the AoE block buffs, making this one of the best champions for the Hydra boss, in my personal opinion. With a, Of course, it's a four turn cooldown, but I pump her out with Relentless anyway. And then, of course, we've got the decreasing of resistance, being all AoE skills and the leech, turning out to be a great Hydra champion for accounts. So, yeah, okay. I would choose her for the I, scarcity value. Wait a second. I thought we couldn't pull. I thought we could pull Deliana. Can we pull Deliana? I'm pretty sure we can. I think she was the first one that we actually can pull after the event was over. So joke's on you, oh, brother. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm like 95 percent sure on that. I think I actually, or 90. I think you're right. I'm just checking here. So we can da, get da, 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 da. it must be in there somewhere. Wait, cannot pull, so you can pull these ones. Yeah, she's not there. I, that I can see. I've never seen someone pull a Deliana. Or is it just me? I think I think I'm not sure if I pulled one. I think I might have. But, Let's yeah. know in the comment section, guys, because I'm not too sure. But I'll still choose. Congratulations, <laughs> man! Congratulations. <laughs> Feel really good about that pick for you. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, uh, let's see. So I went Lysandra first. I'm gonna go with. Oh man, I, I wish I would know if I have first choice in Demon Spawn or not. And since <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play it safe with Tatura Rhymehide. Okay. Uh, that way I have a good Perfect Veil champion because you took Retro Draft. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I want to make sure I have a good, uh, you know, damage mitigator, Perfect Veil for Hydra, block debuff, uh, increased defense. Can actually deal some sneaky damage as well on Tatura. So I'm I'm good with that pick. Yeah, that's a good one. You can go fly on him to go get my kidney yeah. back. <laughs> it, it, it's tough to go over Ethos, but since you went Deliana, I'm totally. I feel. I feel like yeah, it's the a thing free is, choice. I actually, I actually hold Deliana to such a high regard. Like jokes aside, I okay, actually, okay, I love okay. that champion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I think she's just average, personally. I know I don't hate her, yeah. but I'm not like high on her. All right. Next up, Sacred Order. I'm first. Yes, and you can choose out of all of my grayed out ones because I'm broken this game. <laughs> oh, brah. Okay. I think it's a no brainer here. Oof. There's some good choices though, bro. There is some good but ones. But I still think it's a no choice, a no brainer, especially since I need since since you have Sky Touch, I'm gonna go Cardio. Okay. Uh, I think Cardio is one of the top champions in the entire game. Uh, speed in all battles on the aura. He's got the uh, the ally attack, the buffs, the extra damage buffs on the A3. Then he's got the cleanse, the block debuffs, the revive on death, all for two turns. And revive on death cannot be removed on a three turn freaking cooldown. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'll take Cardio. Man, I'm gonna get rinsed, man. <laughs> oh god. You got uh, some great options, man. You got I, some great options here. I got some great options, and the one that I'm gonna choose is I'm gonna go with Astralon. 
Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So the reason being is in the previous video, obviously I'm not gonna reveal that champion, but it was the AOE burner. And to pair with that, I'll be able to get a 100% chance for a stun on that light of sanity, making me progress to that stage 25 of the spider's lair. And I actually use Astralon in my current team today. So I feel like he holds a lot of value. And if I don't want to use him there, a very strong champion for the arena to counter those perfect veils that you like to bring in your teams. So yeah. <laughs> I think he's a pretty decent Indeed. champion. I like him, yeah. I love Astralon as well, but I don't love him as much as Venus. Okay. It sucks. I sh I really should have went Venus and Cupidus, I think, but Cardo's so hard to pass up on. Yeah. But uh, Venus is my favorite debuffer in the game. Decreased defense, weakened, the AoE burn. I, I think it's insane that they buffed her. Her base stats are incredible. Tons of HP, great survivability, very fast. What else do I have to say? Void Affinity. <laughs> Great champion. I still don't have a yeah. man. I don't have anything in this in this fashion. <laughs> the only champion I've ever pulled in three years is the Glacia Soul Guide. Because these two are fusions, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh honorable mention to archbishop i love that dude man love archbishop dude. yeah he's i'm actually a huge yeah. fan of him as well he's one of my most wanted i think he was a guaranteed in the past right i'm not sure honestly i think i pulled him before the guaranteed if it was but yeah. either way he's a really cool champion increased accuracy block buffs etc yeah very strong okay. but my um my second champion will actually be a it'll be a martyr It'll be a okay. martyr because I want one in real life as well, not hypothetically. I don't have a martyr yet. <laughs> and also because of the champion that you got another one. I don't have a counterattack champion yet. So increased defense, counterattack, very, very strong in this game. We got the provokes as well and the A1 drop defense. Gonna enable some really cool clan boss teams for my account. So yeah, definitely a martyr. I think that is a fantastic choice, my, my man. I think, do you think she needs a speed buff? Uh... Or do you think that would make her too strong? Uh, what speed is she at? 90, ooh. 93. Is she very slow? I very think slow. around, if they could put it up to about 98, I think it would be a lot more realistic. Yes. Reasonably. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so all right. I go Am first I, here. You're, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, imagine if I... Ooh. ooh, ooh. There's two. <laughs> uh, there's there's like two or three amazing S tier. S tiers. Do right? I steal her? On, on no, the don't. Do I steal dude, it? Don't, <laughs> dude, I'm going to be like you and Cornelia, just FYI. So don't worry about it. Do you know what? I'm not going to go down to those levels. I'm not, not for Syllogenetics anyway. I'm going to go no. with um, 200 Rock. Okay, good choice. Uh, 200 Rock enables my current um, Hydra Boss team. She is amazing. And I flipped my chair when I got her. She is such a phenomenal champion. Talk about Doom Priest on steroids, right? We got the cleansing with the passive. We got the increased speed. We got the increased defense. The block buffs and drop attack AoEs once you place it on a target with the debuff spread effects. And the A1 decreased speed with the continuous heals. Such a phenomenal champion enabling so many teams out there. Um, do you have 200 Rock? Yeah, I do. Yeah? And I love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And similar to you, she's like, she's a carry in Hydra for me. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to go with Valkyrie. I feel yep. totally cool. Like, if you went to Wanna Rock, I was going to go Valkyrie. If you went Valkyrie, I was going to go to Wanna Rock. Okay. Uh, just getting getting counterattack and getting the best shield in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, not to mention Jealousy. I could use her in the arena as well. Just a tremendous, tremendous champion. Uh, one of my faves out there. Still S tier, in my opinion. Shield is huge as well, right? It's like a tsunami. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's yeah. unbelievable. You don't have Valkyrie, bro? No, I man. Can't, I've already pulled a Skull Crusher in three years. This is what I'm saying. I don't know what's going on, yeah. Raid. Please. They don't, they, don't, they don't really do any special events ever for the for Martyr or Valk for the counterattack champions, do they? Yeah, it's a bit odd. Like they should put like maybe a yeah. guaranteed or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, who else you got? Who you uh, got next? I'll go for. Well, it's a pretty tough one. Um Yeah. I use Ursula all the time for Arena. She's a tank. I think I would go with Cronin because of how hard he is to get. Honestly. Okay, that's a good choice. That's I, a good I feel like out. you got to do yeah. referral programs, and I don't want to sit and make six people do that no. for me. So I feel no. like having a really strong HP burner um, with the term meter fills as well, and there's just so much to his kit that I feel like is very fun in this game if we don't get one of the other ones we'll mention later on. So, yeah, I think I would go Cronum just because of that scarcity value, and I don't think I'll ever have him on my account. So I'll be taking that. <laughs> Same, by the way. Yeah. He, I don't have Cronum. Uh, I'm going to go Ursuga. I'm going to go Wait, Ursuga. I think no. she's... No, what have you no. done here, Ash? What have you done? What? 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 <laughs> I'm gonna put a funny edit here. Why would, how can you not mention Scylla the Drakes? Bro, because I told you, man, I'm, I'm pulling the same move that you did Cornelia. Once it, you chose whoever you chose over Cornelia, I knew at that moment that you're playing for keeps, man. You're not here to pick favorites. You're here to make a winning team. I'm gonna get Scylla Drakes for free anyway, bro. I can't I'm not gonna pick... you're gonna make a wait at the dinning table while you're just there I, fetching out with the other I, champions. You know what? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, 
romance, a little thing about it is it's fresh, it's new in the beginning. You know, but after a couple uh. of years, things fade a little bit. Girls <laughs> like Ursuga come into your life. And honestly, <laughs> Ursuga is a boss, a beast. Uh, and uh. she can be the perfect, perfect support everywhere in my account, especially on a Go Second team in the arena. Oh, I love this champion. I use it every day, and I didn't even book her. Same. And she's still in my arena team. What do you like about Just her? Just that passive, man. Yeah? All you need... All you need is that passive for the arena, at least, right? You could build her in stone skin and just, that's it. You just let her chill there in stone skin, yeah. eat up 30% of that nuke, and you're already off to an amazing start. You build her with a little bit of accuracy on top of that. She can be your debuffer. A, yeah. a tanky, massive tanky debuffer is really valuable. And she's got a great support on her A3. I've actually not thought about trying her in stone skin. Mine is currently in a guardian set. To try and soak up okay. more damage, like the extra 10%. But I, yep, like, yep, yep. I might give Stone Skin a shot, honestly. You could go Stone Skin. I was thinking about changing my build to Bolster with her. Okay. Uh, just given the team that I have her on, you know? Uh, because I feel like the team that I have her on right now, sometimes my Siffy dies on that team if I'm going against like a massive nuke team. Uh, mm -hmm. So I feel like in a Bolster instead, you'll still have the damage mitigation off of that passive, but you'll uh, keep the team alive, you know? Yeah, 100%. And but while we're here, I have to ask you, what's your favorite skin out of Silly the Drakes? Dude, it's really tough, but I think I like the, I think I like the Frost one. Yeah, I like this one as well. It's very cool, yeah. man. Suits that a lot. Yeah, there's really good, really good skins there. All right, is that your, did you have your second choice yet? Uh, did I? Um, I chose Chronum and two Hunter. Oh, Chronum. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so we are on uh, Ogren. Your first hit. Right. I enjoy. <laughs> There's not many oh, here. Oh anyway. wow, bro! <laughs> You're getting first so badly. In Ogren, I know, man. <laughs> wow. But okay. there is there's some really standout choices here, for sure. There's some standouts, yeah. but you know, I guess I'm gonna actually go with. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna go with Biggin. Okay. He was the first legendary I ever pulled on my account, and uh, so he has a soft spot in my heart. And honestly, he's a beast, and I can use him pretty much anywhere as my main PvE nuker, and mm -hmm. PvP, I guess, if I wanted to. Uh, good control in his kit, so uh, yeah, I'll go with uh, Biggin. Hard-hitting AoE attacks on every ability. Biggin's so cool, man. Do you know what I really he wish? Um, with the champion I'm going to choose next anyway, just to mess you up, is going to be Ignatius. Ignatius. Because you don't have yeah. a burn yet, but the AoE burns, non-resistible, is very cool. But Raid, Wait, do I really not have any burners? I don't think you've chosen a burn yet in all, your, all of your champions. Crud. Okay, okay. <laughs> But anyway, we'll um, get there. There's a lot to choose from. With the Ignatius, right? And the big one, why is there not a partner skill in this kit? Like a brotherly hood. I know. It's, it's a bit odd, right? If you can like the same dudes. Yeah. They should yeah. have like a weird passive where maybe if big and them are on the same team, they get like an extra attack boost. I don't know. But anyway. I um, agree. Ignatius, I agree. one of the best champions in the game for burns because it cannot be resisted, meaning that you do not need accuracy for this, making it one of the best champions for the Ice Sprider. Uh, we've got AoE Provokes as well, and an A1 that can place a stun, and he hits relatively hard as well. And to be fair, he was actually one of my first legendaries that I summoned. So I've used him a lot in the past. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, to be fair too, I actually, on my account, I have both those champions, and I use Ignatius, and I don't use Biggin right now, but <laughs> for the Frostbiter, yeah. for your point. But I think yeah. that Biggin will help me out more in the mid-game than Ignatius will. But anyway... Yeah. Uh, my next choice will be Shamrock. Okay. <clears throat> Big fan of this champion. It will be great for Hydra. Uh, he's got decreased speed on an AoE. He's got turn meter depletion to help me out anywhere else. He's very fast, really good base stats. And then the Lucky Charms, ever since they reworked this ability, it's actually super, super solid because I, you, I normally don't like abilities that are giving some champions one thing, another champion's another thing. It's like it, 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 the reliability is a factor there, but this gives everybody what they need. Increased defense on a three-turn cooldown to everybody, and then increased speed speed increased crit rate for healthy allies and then revive on death continuous heal for non-healthy allies so for me he's got a really really solid kit underrated yeah i really like this guy i don't have him yet i wish i did he's actually a champion i've never even tried out on anyone's account so i'd love to have him one <laughs> he's day. fun yeah he's fun um next one for me damn uh, i haven't really got much of a choice here, do i um well <laughs> i'm gonna go with say it with me i'm gonna go with big mama Big Mama. Whoa, I thought you'd go Gurgo. Okay, cool. Nah. Um, I think War Mama is one of those champions where I love bombs in this game. And obviously, she's a bomb queen, right? And of course, it comes down to the A3 with a mother's touch. She likes to put that motherly love on with the instantly detonating of all the bomb debuffs with the inc uh, under the increased attack. Then she places the bombs as well with the special brew. She's mixing it up. And then boom, decreased attack on the A1 as well, which is actually very, very strong here. Each hit places that 50% increased attack, making it very viable. So yeah, I think War Mama is very strong.
I agree. I actually think that War Mother is like a big meme, a big joke in the game, but mm -hmm. I agree with you, man. I think she's like a solid champion. Yeah. You know? uh, Lizard Men, go ahead, dude. Just go ahead. Just finish me off. God. Um, I've got two dreams here because I don't have two of the champions. I know, um, and I can see him right there on your screen, but I, you, have to, you're, you're, you have to go with one of them, man. I, I know who you're going to go with. You have to. Krisk. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, you I, have to. You have I, to. I think Krisk is one of those champions where if you, he's just like the dream, right? Like, do you have a Krisk on your account? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Just rub it in. I'm dirty pay to win, in. man. I'm, I'm dirty <laughs> pay to win. Well, Chris, if you ever want to come to my account, obviously so universally used. Talk about Arena, talk about Hydra Boss, Clan Boss. He's just so cool in this game. The way he enables the shield and the ally protections, the drop attack and the drop defense. Um, there's just so much to his kit. It blows my mind, right? With the decreased yeah. speed A1. So definitely would be somebody, if, if I was given one, I'm like, yo, give me that Chris. <laughs> <laughs> same, bro, same. Yeah. I think the Chris is like, as much as, I'm going to go Nekmothar, but as much yes. as I love... As much as I, I love Nekmothar, I think that Chris is just like a no-brainer first choice. He's yeah. incredible. He'll make your team, your account so much better everywhere. Uh, Nekmothar, though, is so freaking good. I'm picking him over Draco. Granted, I do have Venus, so I already have decreased defense and weaken. Yeah. But if you go Draco next, which I assume you're going to go, uh, mm -hmm. then you have probably the best two. <laughs> like, that's your best two draft picks, I feel like, in one turn. Uh, but anyway, Nekmothar is amazing. Start with his passive. Fills the cha champion's turn here by 5% each time a debuff on an enemy is removed, expired, or, or, or uh, transferred. That's not just his debuffs. It's like every debuff, dude. He's filling his turn meter, especially against Hydra, like a freaking maniac. Then he's got a speed in all battles, 19%. Then he's got an increased speed, turn meter fill, 30%. Extra turn, leading into an AoE attack on his A2. Decreased speed, a leech, another AoE attack on his A1. Decreased attack. What? He's this so guy is a good, man. Monster of a champion. He's really one of my favorite. He's my favorite champion, number one, bar none, released last year uh, in the game. He's my most so, wanted. I really wish I could have went for the guaranteed event, but I just refused to spend three hundred bucks on a on a legendary. So I wasn't buying yeah, a bunch yeah. of sacrets. But he's I got so lucky. Cool, I pulled him like right after he was released. Before I think that people were like really even on to him as being this good, you know. So oh, really? I, uh, yeah, I really love him. Really love him. Yeah, he's so good. Who man. you going with? Um, next up, I'm gonna go for. Oh man, this is harder than I thought. Um, I'm probably gonna go with Chigo. Oh, yeah, I love I love Chigo. I, I, he would have been my other like thought, but I would have probably went Draco. But Chigo is is a beast. Obviously, yeah. So talk about Sand Devil's Necropolis. Talk about getting through the Doom Tower for the first time on the hard rotations because he's got this very quirky passive where if targets are under his poison, which has a four turn duration, by the way, will lead him with his A1 to place a 75% chance of that sleep debuff. Now, this is very, very strong for locking out those multi macabs, the Rotos, the Siffies. Talk about all of those nasty waves, right? And of course, got the value surge with the Sand Devils Necropolis, becoming one of the most viable A1 to pulse heal sleeps in the game. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of him. And also carries into the arena as well as a slash nuker. So, yeah. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, good choice. Good choice. Okay, so now we have Skinwalkers. Am I up first on this one? Uh, did you get two choices on the Lizard? Oh, did I not? I went, dude, yeah, I went Nekmo Thar, then I tapped out, man. I tapped out. <laughs> he just walked out uh, there. No, Chris, get up. You know anymore. what? <laughs> yeah, screw it, man. No, I'm actually going to go Draco then. Okay. Give me them both, you know? I think Draco's still a beast. Uh, all the poisons, the decreased defense, the weaken, and the big damage on the A1. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man. I mean, I'm really, really happy to have Draco on the uh, on the team. Yeah. What, what else do I need to say about him? Tons of yeah, damage. Great so for cool, clan man. loss. Great for anywhere else. Yeah. Wait, wait, do I now get... Skinwalkers. Wait, are, are you, you first? You, you went Krisk, so I get first choice. Oh, no. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter here because I think... I was just looking at it. I think that, like, this is the most stacked... Skinwalkers went from being, like, one of the worst legendary factions to so many good ones now, I yeah. feel like. And I'm not going to take your Coronar because there's better choices than Coronar out there. Mm -hmm. You can have them. You can have them. Uh, honestly, bro... I'm so... This is so tough, man. This, this is, is so I, tough. I think arguably this is probably the toughest one for me. I think Me too. This is the toughest choice I've had so far. It's crazy uh, how much Skinwalkers have come. Like, think about how bad this faction was. Now they're like one of the best in the game. I know, bro. Oh, man. Okay. 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 I am going to go with Mighty Uko. Mighty okay. Uko. Okay. Uh... 
I think that's a, not a safe choice, but I love so many champions here, but I think that Mighty Ukai can use in the most places in the game. I think that's what it comes down to, right? Yeah. Uh, AoE decrease attack on the A1, removing buffs, block buffs, decrease accuracy on the A2. Then we have the uh, revival or increased speed. Uh, and then the stealing buffs on the A1 with speed in all battles. Uh, amazing for Hydra, amazing for Arena, amazing for really any dungeon for the most part. It's an incredible support champion. And what makes this champion so special beyond just how good the kit is in a vacuum is we don't really have revivers in the game with two strong AoE attacks who can put, put out damage against Hydra with the utility that Mighty Uko has. Yeah. with the aoe revive like there's just not revivers like that in this game you know so uh for that reason mighty uko now he's a strong uh strong pick there hakuna matata let's go <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed um, um who you got who you got man i'm gonna go with snick track Ooh, i yeah. like that choice i like that choice. i love snick track he's one of my most used champions for hydra because he's one of the only champions in the game that has that non-removable shield on the a2 very similar to like an under priest brogany when the targets are under a leech that he actually does place on his passive skill also ally protection reflect damage a1 decrease attack that can place through poison clouds like the head of wrath if they're under the leech brings that aoe decrease speed such an amazing god tier champion for hydra boss and i love this dude like literally on, on a serious speed, I love this guy so much. So, have you ever have you, have you I, seen track? I, yeah, I think yeah. he's really, really, really good as well. I can't fault you for that pick. This is a tough faction, dude. It is, man. I'm struggling a lot a here. Tough one, man. I, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Nishak Vermin Lord, man. I'm gonna oh, go. Really? You, okay. you, you left him on the table. Um. Uh. It was really him or Ragash uh, for me, and okay. I think that uh, I think that Nishak is just such a a special champion with all that damage that he does. Obviously in Hydra, but really anywhere, you know, just a really really cool can solo a bunch of content. Uh, I'm I was so over impressed. He exceeded my expectations after I after I fused him. Yeah, no, he's very, very strong, man. Talk about solo strategies, Bommel, um, yeah. Flam Boss, he's just so cool, man. But you know what I feel like Raid messed up with? I felt like over the Christmas period, we had the Christmas fusion, and it was their yeah. perfect time to introduce Mr. Dibbles as a rare champion. Right? They, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. Done, I think you're right. They could have done 16 Mr. Nibbles instead of that 16 of the other rare, whatever it was. <laughs> you're so right, you're so right. And you know what? That's stuff. a good call out, man. That's a good call out uh who do you, do you have another choice or no um, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i'm gonna go with leorius. Gonna go? leorius yeah over you're not gonna go is he, now you have mania with nobody I, was, I, I know i'm just gonna have to just forget about that but <laughs> i can't do you know, it i came to you it forgot I, how stacked uh skinwalkers was yeah it's just leorius i'm just thinking to myself like he's a beast if you nuke my team he's gonna stay alive and he's gonna hit you right back right so yep. you just can't choose him i thought i could but i came to it and i just bottled it all right guys yeah 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 but, I can't fault you for that one, man. I would go. I would have went Ragash because I think he's a beast. Yeah, uh, you actually messed up again here. You should have went for a two Mizia for your Spider Team. <laughs> no, dude, yeah, I'm gonna get a burner. Don't you worry about me. Don't worry oh, about he's me. He's got one in his head. Uh, I got. I, well, I'm sure there's gonna be one. What do you think about Samson? I think Samson King Kong. Do you like dude, him? here's the thing. First of all, he looks amazing, right? Yeah. I was, I was, dude. I, I know I don't take, like, ma I don't have Samson. First of all, okay. I don't take massive stock into ratings, but I was surprised at how low they were on the uh, overall for him. Okay. Because I think his kit is really good, and he has an extra turn ability as well. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm excited to get him someday. Hopefully, I just want him for the looks. Yeah, I know he looks awesome. I love it, man. All right. Um, okay. Next faction, we're heading into the orcs, and who's going first? Orcs. You are. I am. Oof. I'm Congratulations. Getting, I'm getting flashbacks of the faction games, but obviously there's only one champion we can name, guys. The Lord of War. Warlord. Yep. <laughs> so, Congratulations. Warlord, <laughs> obviously I'm trying to lock you out in the arena, Ash, okay? I don't want you to take a turn. I don't want your cooldowns. <laughs> you can keep your basher, you know what I mean? So obviously Orcish Rituals attacks all enemies, 100% chance of fully, uh, what was it? Chance to fully deplete the turn meter and then obviously put their skills on cooldown. We got the block debuffs, the shield, the A1 as well to increase the duration alongside a hefty aura of 80 in all battles. Such a god tier champion, guys. If you pull him over a 2x voids, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. That's uh, it's an obvious choice, I feel like. I'm going to go with, yeah. I hope you don't take my other choice on the second one, but I'm going to go with Rock of Vile Tide uh, okay. on my choice. I think she's a really, really good champion. 
uh, speed in all battles, starting with a passive. Start of each turn fills the trimmer of all allies by 10% on a two-turn cooldown. Not bad at all. Also, continuous heal on there. And then we have a revive, everybody. 50-50, uh, block debuffs. Block debuffs can be placed no matter what. Then we have an increased attack and a shield on the A2 and then a heal on the A1. Mm. Not a bad champion. No, really good champion. If Raid was to come knocking on your door and you ask for a rack of Valtide, yeah, you know, I'm gonna be happy. Yeah, you're gonna be pretty happy. I guy. seem bummed. I seem bummed out, but I'm not sure uh, who you're gonna pick next. It all depends on who you pick next. Are you ready? I'm gonna just mess up your day so badly. Don't do it. Tila, go in. Oh, you're going Tila? Yeah. Okay, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. That was not, that's not. I'm who just I'm trying at. my best to stop you on burns. I don't know what I'm uh, doing. Here. No, I know, right? Dude, you, know you have what? 150 burners, bro. <laughs> 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 Actually, dude, that's the worst part. No, I know. Honestly, though, know. I've always been a fan of Tila Gorman, right? From the very beginning, okay. even through all the buffs, I've stood by her. I was like, do you know what? One day we're gonna get you to your ultimate form, and boom, she's now become such a viable HP burner, right? Talk about AOE burn, guys, with continuous heal. Um, we've then got the AOE um, has an eighty-five percent chance of increasing the burn durations, and also a chance of the leech and the hex. She started to become such a phenomenal champion in this game, right? So I would actually choose it, honestly. Like for Hydra Boss, I think she'll fit okay. into a bunch of teams. Yeah. You know what, dude? I cannot argue with you there. She's really good after that buff. So yeah. uh, I wanted Iron Brago, and now I have him. Uh, I think he's great. He can deal a lot of damage. He mm -hmm. has Provoke. He has an increased defense. He has stuns. Uh, increased defense on the passive. He's great for, for a clan boss, but again, we're starting to count from scratch here in this hypothetical situation. Yeah. He's going to help me basically everywhere. Uh, it'd be pretty crazy if they started an account with two free legendaries, huh? Now that we do the exercise, I'm like, okay, <laughs> my account's stacked, man. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, so I would yeah. go Iron Brago. It deals damage too, you know, for a defense-based champion. No, he's a great choice. I was he was in my clan boss team for a solid year. I loved him. He was okay. a great champion. All right, um, all right. So Demon you... spawn. Oh, oh, dude. So this is like this is where things oh. get really good for me. I'm still not worried about the the burn. The problem is, on my account at this point, I have so many revivers now. Had I known I was going to get first choice on Demon Spawn, I probably just would have went with Duchess. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually going to surprise the world, shock the world here. I'm not going to go Sissia with her HP burn. You can go ahead and take her from me. Uh, I'm going to go Prince Kaimar. Oh, you did it. Uh, no, I thought he was going to go Duchess. <laughs> nah, yeah, you'd think I would go Duchess. Do you know what, you know what, like, do you know what you've just done here? Yeah. You've messed up everything done? that we've talked about <laughs> in the past few hours because I've been building a poison explosion team and now I don't have a reset champion. I, well, hey, Yameko <laughs> might be available. I don't know whose pick it's going to be there. Uh, oh, but God. Uh, I think that Kaimar is... It's hard. It's weird, right? Because like people don't talk about him as the number one champion in the game, but he's got to receive more usage than almost any other champion in the game. Yeah, Poison resets... Seer resets, uh, Arena with the A2 Abyssal Gaze. It just makes him amazing. Even like early game dragon stuff like that, just dungeon runs. Uh, I think Kaimar is amazing. So I'm actually going to go Kaimar over Duchess, which seems like sacrilege, but I'm doing it. Man, that's such, it's such a beat. It's, it's kind of hard to argue that because Kaimar is such a pinnacle in so many teams, right? He, he, enables, he enables so many things. Whereas Duchess, of course, does that, but Kaimar's like a one of a kind champion. But um, True. I will go with Duchess for this one. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, Duchess, perfect veils, damage mitigation with a passive. One of the best passives in the game. Um, also, the revives, the block debuffs, the increased attack, you name it. Such a versatile champion to throw into the mix. So you can't not put a Duchess in the list, right? Absolutely. And as much as I'd love to go Hefrak or Helicath next, uh, I am finally going to go and get my burner and to see a flame. I left it for you this uh, time. I left thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I mean, not only is she the HP burner, but she yeah. also brings decreased defense, weaken mm -hmm. uh, chance at, and the instant uh, activation, which can be amazing uh, against Spider specifically or against Hydra or yeah. against anything else susceptible to HP burn. So I'm really, really happy with that. Also, accuracy in all battles by 60, not bad. Triple hitter on the A1. So really, really, really uh, big fan of Cecilia. Yeah, Cecilia is a great champion. I wish that I had her on my account. I still don't have her, but there we go. Um, my next champion is actually going to be... Oh my god, I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> um, do it because I love the burn champions. I love, I've got Nukas already with Leorius. I'm going to go with Morty Macab. Whoa! Yeah, I think a okay. st stone skin Morty Macab to pair with my Baron. 
My gosh, yep. it's going to be a field yep. day with the peril ability, right? I'm going to be putting that oh, stone yeah. skin on. I'm going to be nuking you down like Mike Tyson. Boom. You're not going to stand a chance, Ash. All right? <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. Uh, your arena team with Warlord, Mortar Macabre is going to be very scary as yeah. a setup. Uh, <laughs> One okay. day, if Raid actually put like a live arena thing, we need to come back to this video and fight I know. each other Go. with these teams. I, I, I <laughs> that's the first thing I'm going to do, man. You know, at least I got Kaimar. Yeah. And I have Madam Sarah, so I can go double strip on you, maybe, maybe. Potentially. All right. Potentially. So <laughs> oh, wait, oh, that's it, right? Let's straight back into the demon spawn. All right, who we got? Okay. Undead Horde, you're up first. Um, all right, so for me, it's going to be, well, ooh, it's actually hard enough for. thought. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because gonna... you just got Duchess. I mean, jeez, oh, man. I'm going to go with a champion I've always wanted. It's going to be Necro the Great. Oh uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm trying to build up my arena squads now. I feel like I'm really cool for like PVE content. We're looking for that PvP God mode champions. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, so now you got a Necrat Warlord and Morta Macab in there, <laughs> and Duchess. There and, you go. That's your squad. And Barons. We're good yeah. to go. Tag Team Arena. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, he enables so many teams. Ally protection, block debuffs, ally attacks. He's just such a strong beast champions. I'm just not gonna bore you guys with the essays. I'm sure you guys know what he does, but yeah, really cool champion, man. I don't know why he's never come out for me. One day. No, man. Raid, sorry, please. sorry. He's a beast. Uh, I will go with uh Siffy. Uh, okay. Welcome to welcome to the team. Yep. Uh, she's amazing. I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing with you. Not bore with everything on Siffy, but <laughs> yeah. you know, suffice it to say, whirlwind romance and her passive and her really really good revival with a full turn meter makes her just one of the better champions still support in the game. Good healer off the passive as well. So Siffy, welcome to the squad. No, I strongly agree, but there is no chance in hell I'm letting you take Rotos as well. So, <laughs> Ro Rotos. you're going Rotos? Okay, okay. You're not okay. having that tag team ability. Hell no. <laughs> um, so, Rotos the Lost Groom, obviously, Fated Destruction is such a strong ability in this game. And to think that he was um, a fusion back in the day kind of blows my mind, right? So, yeah. Uh, really cool there. We got the Vitality Plunder, of course, dealing the max HP of those bosses. Very strong for even Scarab King in some s situational teams. Um, A1, drop the fence, we've got extra turn mechanics and pairs very well with champions that we can't pair together now. So, yeah. Absolutely, right? I Cool, okay. I'm going to go with... Uh... <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with good old Bad Elkazar as my choice. Nice pick. Uh, yeah, you know, I love the poisons, love the cleanse. I still think Malice is one of the best abilities out there in the game. I'll put him in Reflex and, uh, and have, a, have a great time with him. Uh, and plus, I need a little bit more PV, P, PVE help, rather. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and I love Mashald. I love, I actually love a lot of these champions, but I think that Bad L just a little bit of an edge given what I need right now on my, my account. Yeah, great choice. I love Bad Elkazar. OG classic, right? Absolutely, right? Um, okay, so we're getting down to the bottom half of the faction. So now we've got the Dark Elves. Please do not bash me in the comments for how many champions i got here. Um, do you want to let me know? Wait, uh -huh. who, who's first on this one? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, you were first because you went with uh, Necret over over Siffy, and this one, you know what, man? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make life. Oof. To me, it's like one of us is gonna get Lydia and one of us is gonna get Mithrala. And I mean, I don't know if that's the direction you're gonna go, but that's the, the direction that I think is. Uh... It's crazy to even think that these are like the two free champions, and they're the ones that we look towards. It's crazy, right? I know. They're so I powerful. Know. They're both so good. I think I could probably get my hands on Mithral a little easier than Lydia, so I'll go with Lydia. Okay. Uh, Lydia has, uh, I think Siren's Whale is arguably one of the best abilities in the game. You know, bring the big version of decreased defense, weaken, strengthen, and increase speed in one ability on three-turn cooldown is absolutely absurd, and she's great for the arena as well with the Death Hold uh, passive. Yeah, very strong champion. Uh, you just cut a lot of grind for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um... Man, what have you done to me here? Because you put that in my head that I can get a Mithrala, and I've got all the champions to do. <laughs> do, do what's part of it is, I've sat and I've built up this squad to get the Mithrala. I know. Right so do you know what? Yep. I'm not going to include her in getting a straight away. I'm going to grind for that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with then. Xavier? It's, it's crazy, because technically I could go for a Xavier and still get away with a Poison Explosion team, because I would do Eleonora Combust first wave, Xavier's wave two, and have like a Renegade in there maybe. If only uh, you had a Kaimar, huh? I know, I know. Um, what do you I, think? Okay, go ahead. I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go Zavia. I'll go Zavia. 
Um, I think okay. that's, just in case that, that champion that comes up with Yumeiko and I don't get the other resets, I need that Deadly Catalyst <laughs> and have some sort of resets yeah, of like yeah. a Renegade. So yeah, I think Xavier just for that Deadly Catalyst ability there and the poisons um, to kind of put them up on the wave two. So yeah. Now you've got me in my head, bro, with the Thrala. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second here. <laughs> Do I not? You know what? I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm gonna go Mithrala. Okay, <laughs> I'm not go. gonna. I'm just gonna go Mithrala from the start. I got her. Cool. Uh, the AOE increased defense, a increased attack, the cleanse, the strengthen, the shield, the passive. I can use her right away in the arena. It's gonna be insane. Uh, right away in clan boss uh, or Hydra clan boss. Uh, she's just a beast of a champion, one of the best in the game, in my opinion. So, uh, I think honorable mention, though. I think I was it was between Mithrala and Knock the Paralyzer for me. He was on my so, list, he was my next one. Yeah, yep. okay, okay, yeah. So, we both came close, but no, no, uh, no, no regard there. Yeah, okay. Wait, did I choose my second one there? No, no. I didn't. Why do I keep forgetting? <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting the orders. Shoot, you're going to go knocked. <laughs> you're not going to paralyze her. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. So basically, the way that he works with the Dreamer's Demise is he places the poisons. He has the chance of placing the sleep. He has the Somnolus passive where if they're under ally protection, he actually has a chance to place a sleep as well, which pairs very well for the Sand Devil's Necropolis. Um, also a very strong solo champion, right? We've got the poisons everywhere. Yeah. He's so tanky. He's got this crazy heal as well. And I think he's such a... I'd say underrated champion in this game, but I think he'll start coming into fruition in the future, for sure. Yeah, I don't have not. Would really like him, though. He's really cool. Yeah, really cool, man. All right. Uh, nice Revenant. I think you're up first. Um, well, yeah, you got Lydia first, so yeah. Yes. Um, oh, Ooh. Ooh. A lot of tough choices here, my man. We got some beastie boys in here. We do. We do. Uh, I'm going to go with... Okay, I'm still banking on it. I'm still banking on you messing me up with them, Yumeko. I'm going to go with uh, Calvalax. I'm going to go okay, Calvalax. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think because of the passive, the way that it works with the 4-5% poisons at the start of each round is going to enable me to blow up with the Zarbia and the Elenaru. And I think it will start to be a really cool team, honestly, in my head anyway. I don't know if it would work out, but there we go, guys. Um, also, um, he was a community mate champion. I think he holds, holds a bit of extra brownie points there. Hits really hard yeah. as well with the max HP. Dude, he has evaded me like... Uh, who's your most wanted champion again? You said it earlier. Who is it your most wanted? I forgot. My most wanted? Oh, God, I can't remember. There's so many champions. I now. don't know. <laughs> I know, right? But either way, Cavalax. Oh, I think Necmo, right? Oh, is yeah, Necmo you, 4, you yeah. yeah. But, like, Cavalax is my Necmo, man. I can't get my hands on him. I've, I've pulled in every 10-time event. i pulled, like, 10 legendaries, and none of them were him. Uh... Uh, I'm going to let you keep Teodar the Savant if you really want to go all out, all out on your next pick. <laughs> and you know what? You have so many great arena nukers. I'm going to go uh, Geoger Gid the Breaker. I'm going to go with oh, uh, the Nutcracker. He was hiding I'm behind me. How did you remember that? Uh, <laughs> he's uh, laughing at you, man. He's uh, laughing at you. No, I could have uh, hit him the whole time. For God's sake. <laughs> well, there we go. So honestly, for me... This guy is a monster. Yeah. And the fact that, as I said, you have like a lot of great nukers. I don't have that many. Yeah. I have, I'm just gonna let the cat out of the bag. But I have Jinbo the Dishonored as my as my main dude, you know? <laughs> so I can't, I need a little bit extra. And I think that now with a Nutcracker on my yeah. squad, he hits really hard, he ignores Stone Skin on the A2. He'll just be able to peace out your Mortu Macabre without any questions asked. And they'll come in with that AOE. He has ignoring potentially 100% of defense with the passive uh, and lethal and uh, Helm Smasher. Uh, welcome to the squad, Nutcracker. I don't have him. I really wish I did, but now I do in this this imaginary situation. He's so cool, man. I want this yeah. dude. He's so cool. He's super cool. What is it with Raid and the rats, man? There's like Nishak Berman Lord, rats dead on the back. What's going on, man? I know, man. <laughs> Freaky. Um, for me, it's gonna be a man, I'm just putting myself in a bad situation here. Um I'm gonna go with a Oh man, I'm really struggling with this one. Uh, I know you are. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna go down to Georgia there, and then damn, I'm gonna go guys to Gleeful. I think okay, uh, guys okay. to Gleeful, very strong champion with the sleeps. Uh, works kind of similar to that kind of for the arena. We got the bombs as well. They scale very well as well, and then he also does the instant de detonation when they die and stuff. So yeah, I think guys to Gleeful, one of the better fusions that we've had over the past few years, and I still use them a good bunch. So yeah, probably go Gaius. Sounds good, because I now, that opens me up. So Hegemon is obviously right there, uh, and I wanted this dude for so long, 
but I feel like I can get by without him now, you yeah. know? Uh, and I feel like Theodore the Savant, if I go that route instead, with Sissia, now I actually have a combo. I don't have all the champions you have, YST. Yeah. But I do have enough of a combo with those two that I can do some combusting, uh, especially against Spider. So I'm going to go with Theodore the Savant. This dude freaks me out, man. He, t he does look pretty freaky. And he has a pretty interesting and good kit, you know, outside of the instant activation, right? Like, he yeah. has... A decrease speed on the A1, increase speed on the three-turn cooldown on the A2. Just nice utility overall. He's pretty tanky too. Yeah. One day rate, you can send it my way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're getting right. down to the final three factions here. Wards! Oh, baby. Oh. Come to Papa Acrisia. <laughs> uh, I'm going right after her. She is, oh, I think she's the best. Listen, I don't have her. So maybe it's just like this, the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, but like she's my most wanted champion by far. Anybody in my clan who has her, they just like outscore everybody on everything because she's a damage dealing freaking maniac. Uh, enemy max HP ability on every single skill in her kit. Uh, what else to say about her? I don't know. I just like, to me, that's my obvious uh, no brainer choice there to start things out. <laughs> Lucky for you. <laughs> um, well, because like you know, there's some awesome dwarves. On you're you're gonna be okay, right? And no, don't I take Nari okay as your first. Don't take I, Nari as your first choice. Don't do it. Uh, uh no. Um, I'm actually not gonna go. <laughs> I'm not gonna go Nari for this one. I don't think. Okay. Uh, I know how you love Nari. I do love Nari. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with under priest brogany i think okay. uh, yeah i feel like because as a right I, was, I was building a clan boss team in my head so i feel like i've got all the components now to make a very strong two to one team to exceed a wonky ultra nightmare so block debuffs we've got increased attack we've got the non-removable shields the only champion to be able to extend the value of those shields and enable so many cool teams with those extender compositions so under priest brogany definitely makes my number one great choice i would have went with him as well uh after Crisia. I'm going to go with, you know what? I went from having crappy nukers to some amazing ones because I'm going to go with Trenda. Oh. Uh, Trenda's amazing, obviously, in the arena, but really anywhere else you need some nukage. Great for Hydra as well uh, against those decapitated heads. Uh, it just uh, uh, making one of the strongest hitters in the game have 23,000 base HP as well is like, should be illegal, man. I mean, she's, <laughs> she's a really, really cool champion. Very good. And uh, yeah, happy to have her. Yeah, do you, do you know what's crazy, Ash? Yeah, I pulled her like a month ago for the first ever time. Whoa! And Congrats! I, I've still not built her. <laughs> oh no! I don't know what I'm doing. Why you just don't? You just don't need. You just do, don't do need. I just feel yeah. like I've got my Leorius. I've got my. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I just finding it hard to see if she's more valuable for me than that. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build her for Hydra Boss. That's kind of my feel. Like I'll get a lot okay. of value from the lower stages for those rotations and have fun with it. But yeah, I will be building look up her, soon. Look at her Incinerous skin. It looks sick. Look at the Incinerous skin. The top one. Ooh. Whoa. Come can, on. Can you imagine Isn't that? Isn't that cool? Can, can you imagine Dude. that creeping into your bedroom at night? <laughs> you know, oh, one. man. <laughs> Stop talking dirty to me, bro. Uh, <laughs> man, I, I really, I really, I like uh, Trunda, but I see your point, though. I see she's a little redundant in a really good way you know like if yeah. you already have a lot of great nukers i can totally see being a little hesitant there yeah uh who you got next um i'm gonna go with oh is it my, is it me next um no you went trunda oh yeah yeah i went trunda. yeah my bad. <laughs> you're Dude. trying to get extra it's trying to steal all right i'm old bro I'm, I'm old i'm old i'm old who you going with um i'm gonna go with oh look, my, my... <laughs> i know <laughs> no, you, you can't resist it's going i can't resist him it's like a ouija board pulling your mouse <laughs> over man no, he's sending his spirals guys no i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm gonna go for mm... Ma molly i'm gonna go molly molly yeah. okay i'll go molly i think that's a great uh, choice great um, choice. i think with the chance ability very very strong revives the ally with the block damage as well a we provokes is something i don't think i've put in my account yet in terms of the champions i've chosen and the way that she just places it, being that uh, not worrying about affinities, is actually very, very cool. So I feel like I'd get a lot of value out of a Morley tank card for sure. Totally. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. Oh, wait. Shadow Ken, you have first choice, that oh, means, right? Oh, oh. And then congratulations, man. Oh. I mean, you're going to have to pass up on your dude, but. But the thing is, are you going to do me dirty like that? That's what I need to do. You know, I'm going to test our friendship here. Okay. Let's Maybe. see. Maybe. Yeah, the thing is, I, I, I build that team in my head where I don't need a Yebeku anymore. I think because I've got two Exploders, I can use a Renegade. Oh, yeah. Do I need a Yemeko? Actually, do you know what I want? You have Warlords. That's a little redundant in the arena, you know. Ah, oh, 
Do you know what? Do you know what? I feel like there's another champion I want more than a Yumeiko. What? There is. And it's going to be Lady Kimmy. I know. Lady Kimmy. Okay. Okay. I think so, you just made that decision a little bit easier for me because mm. it's really tough. I know, you guys might think yeah. it's crazy, but for Hydra Boss, this is alongside Necmo Far, these are the two champions I've chased the most. Like 100%. I love Lady Kimmy. Um, yep. She just brings so much value of like decreased accuracy, decreased speed, blood buffs. Uh, there's just so much in a kid that I just want her on my account, right? And I know it sounds crazy. I would love the Yamaka, don't get me wrong. But she's somebody that I genuinely, in my personal time, always want that champion. And now <laughs> we're about to test our friendship. Tell me. Which, yeah. Which uh, isn't? I would... I, I actually tried to set you up a little bit there. I thought you were going to go Yumeko no matter what, but I'm not even going to go Yumeko either. Uh, for the reason that you took Deliana, I'm taking Ninja. Okay. Right? Uh, he's not available, and he's a boss killer, right? Like, what else do I have to say about him? Uh, but that Hailburn ability, ha I've been leaning on that since the day he was released, and I'll continue to lean on it now, and this is the only way I can possibly get him in the game by picking him in this hypothetical scenario. Yeah. So I will take him. I feel like we've just spoken ourselves into this is real life. And I, I mean, <laughs> right? I'm like, okay, welcome oh. to the team, Ninja. <laughs> like, I'm going to walk away to my normal account and be like, wait, wait, where, where are these champions? <laughs> where, right. Wait, where's my Lady Kimmy gone? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so guys, you guys know I love Genzin, okay? And Genzin is always with me. He's with me right now, Ash. Like, he's just chilling. Like, he's falling asleep. He's chilling? Okay. He loves so, him so much that you're going to pass him. I feel, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like Genzin's here at all times, okay? Okay. I, okay. I don't in need the heart, champion yeah. in the game because he lives with me, okay? We've got a spare bedroom. So, Genzin, forgive me. We're going to get you again anyway, okay? We don't, <laughs> I don't need you in real life and in the game all of the time. Oh, so, this just sounds like a big, long charade here. Just pick, just pick Yumeko or whoever you want. I'm going to get in trouble at home. That's what it is. He's going to fight. <laughs> I know, I'm I know. I'm going to go with Yumeko because of those things. And I think she'll be adding so much value to my account, right? And I'm not going to yeah. definitely read out this essay. So, yeah. Uh, I'll go with Yumeko <laughs> to just enable those comps, right? <clears throat> Fair enough. Uh, as much as I I do love Genzin, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him uh, untaken. I love Kaioku. Uh... uh but and I love love uh Michinaki. Michinaki. Ooh, I love however, that no, oh, you know. Oh. However, however, oh, no. I'm gonna go Rio Bone Spear. Oh, I don't. I'm gonna go, I don't feel like you yeah. need him in your squad, man. What were you thinking? Sand Devil's Necropolis, I guess. No, I just think that like, okay, maybe you're right. Now you got me thinking because I have like because <laughs> I have like bad L. Who else That's do so I issue. have? Who else do I have for? Uh, who brings what Rio has though? Well, like, I feel well, like who's you... my other like? Uh, amazing cleanser. Who I do I have? You had the uh, Rakovao oh, types. I have, no, I have uh, Mariacha. The, oh yeah, right, Marishka. Right. Yeah, Marishka. She's <laughs> very Mariachi. redundant. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go Michinaki. Oh, no, thanks, I, thanks, I, I was hoping you could get hey, again, again. I didn't him. go. Yeah. I didn't go for your guy again. I'm keeping him. I'm leaving him for you, man. Yeah. Uh, but Mishinaki with the burns on the A1 and the chance of joining every single time we attack an enemy under Hex just leads him into dealing so much more damage than you would expect from this champion. Yeah. Not only that, but he's removing buffs and placing the Hex on a three-turn cooldown on an AoE. He's bringing decreased defense on an AoE as well. Decreased attack on enemies under Hex. This guy is a Hydra maniac, but he's also good in other areas of the game too. So I'm a big, big fan of Michinaki. Yeah, I think he's going to pair very well with that new cat. Have you seen the new champions? Yes, I actually just saw it today. Yeah. What, uh, I forgot what they do, though. So basically, she extends the value of the hex on a free time hit off. So each hit um, extends the value. So that's going to make sure that the hex is up 24 7 for this dude. So I feel like it's going to be a very cool pairing. Yeah. Love it. Love it. But um, All right. I'm just going to leave him on the screen for one second. Genzin, I'm sorry. I, I didn't <laughs> just mean a it. Moment of silence. Do you know what? I, okay. feel like, I feel like we both should get a Genzin. How about that? We get a third champion here? Done. Done. Yeah? Uh, you know what? Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Let's sign off on it. Oh, yeah. All right. So. Um, all right, so this is uh, tough. We both, am I first on this one? Do you know what's you? crazy? If that's, that Seasha champion, if she wasn't here, we'd literally only have two picks each, so. I know, right? Just, do you uh, know what? You're the okay. guess. Even if you did go first the last one, you can go first again. Go for it. No, you went first because you passed up on Yumeko, right? For, uh, for Lady Kimmy. I, I will go with, uh, I might shock the world here because I think that the co consensus out there is that Elva is by far the best uh, legendary, but I actually am a big fan of King Galkabar uh, over Elva even. He's very fast, great base stats, very tanky. Look at how good his kid is, bro. He has a shield on the A1, right? Mm -hmm. On the A2, an AoE, 
100% chance on a three turn cooldown when booked of removing all buffs from all enemies. Then places a poison for two turns for each buff removed. Also has a 100% chance of placing block buffs on enemies after the buff removal after the poisons. Very good ability. Ooh. But look, look at hy hypertrophy on his A3. Three turn cooldown, a cleanse, continuous heal for each debuff removed, then a shield. Ooh for two turns the value of shield based on his max hp and it scales very well the cool thing about this ability is dude on a hydra clan boss man he's going in there sometimes he's going in with just a shield on the on the a3 right because yeah. there's no debuff to be removed but sometimes if there's like three or four poisons or a couple provokes a couple true fears on i'm on allies bro he's laying down like a billion continuous heals it's fun to watch and then he's bringing again the, all those poisons potentially on the A2 with the block debuffs and the buff removal. And when enemy, whenever an enemy under a poison debuff attacks an ally under a shield, instantly activates the poison. Also instantly activates a continuous heal on that ally. So really cool synergy there between the passive, the A2, and the A3. Uh, yeah, Love he's him. he's actually a lot better than I thought, honestly. And yeah. he's, he's quite speedy as well at 108. That's pretty he fast. He is. He yeah. is. He's a, he's, a, he's a really, really good champion. Who are you going to go with? Uh, I'm going to go with El Autumnborn, of course. Uh, um, okay. Yep. Very, very yep. strong champion. Enables so many clan boss teams. Great for, like, Hydra <laughs> boss. You name it. Such a versatile kit with the continuous heals. Increased speed. Block debuffs. Removing debuffs. Reviving. Uh, you name it. El Autumnborn is here to stay. So, yeah. I'll absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with uh, Searsha the Chard. Oh, uh, you just saved 22 years. Congratulations. I know. <laughs> I know. The Plarium points. Screw you, Plarium points. Uh, she okay. looks kind of weird to me. You know? Yeah, she, like, looks, she looks so cool on the looks image. Very, and when she comes yeah, in, she looks very frail. With that back, maybe it's the background? Do, do you know, know what they should have done? They should have done like they did with Yakul. Do you know where he has got the ice background? Yes! They, yes! They, they should have done a fire version of like a flame in the back, like she's burning the forest in a sense. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool looking. I mean, cool champion. She's a burner. Decreased turn meter of enemies under HP burn by 15, extra 15%. To me, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm missing something on her, but I don't think she's like next level worth 150 years or a million dollars spent on the game. Uh, but she's also better than the other uh, two options that I have. So I'm going to yeah, go she's a, She's a strong burner, right? Don't get me wrong. Yes. And oh, yeah. My kind of problem with it was, I don't, I'm not going to make this a round video, guys. Don't worry. Um, I just, <laughs> I felt like Mordecai, who's an epic champion that players can get for free by doing a promo code, by making a new account, has pretty much the same values as a Seisha the Chard. Now, she does have a unique passive where she can instantly activate HP burns on a 15% chance. I was going to say, so the chance is too low. It's to be like, special. It's like you know? it's if this was like 50-50 shot, uh, it's an activation on Hydra boss. Like wow, that's pretty insane. But yeah, I, I just feel like the values are too low. Like a HP burn, okay. You're extending values, but how long do you need a HP burn up? You know what I mean? So yeah, <sighs> if it, you're right, it's it's gonna be a matter of if that 30% when booked HP burn activation in like Hydra will that is that enough to really add up? I don't know, yeah, you know. It, it could I'm be, guessing, but I don't. I don't yeah. think it's twenty-two years worthy. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, but anyway, yeah. So who are you gonna go, Rurark or Alil? Uh, I'm gonna go with Alil just for the. Hopefully, one day he gets a buff and he's a void legendary, so I'm just gonna yes. take him. Um, yep, yep. Yeah, obviously, Smart I think way. I think if I was to come into this game for the first ever time and I had a Lil, I would definitely see the value. But of course, in the end game, he just doesn't hit proper. His damage capabilities aren't there, and he needs a buff. So Polarium, if you're watching, um, sort him out. Big buff, big buff. All right, man. Well, we have a, a full squad. We I do. Like it. We do. I yeah. Pretty good. I'm just gonna leave her on the screen to wrap up this video. So, Ash, um, it's <laughs> been up, like a, a long two-hour collaboration that we've had over both channels. Make sure you Indeed. guys head over to Ash's channel. If for some reason you're not subscribed to him, smash those subscribes. He's trying to get to 200,000 as soon as possible. So every little helps. And yeah, thanks for coming on the channel, man. It's been a blast. YST, it has been a blast. My pleasure, always. Uh, thank you, man. Yep, and I hope you have an amazing week or whatever you're getting up to in your channel. And if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.